Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's always supporting me and following me as always, salute. Now, today's video is gonna be interesting because I wanna to talk to you parents about how to help your kids finesse an 800 credit score using student credit cards like Chase. Now, here's the formula that I would definitely encourage you to follow. Just follow this formula. Not only will it help your student that's in college, but it also help you as parents build your credit up as well, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go through the steps to show you exactly what you should be doing. Now, the first step, Especially people trying to get uh, like Chase student credit cards and stuff and like with a uh, Chase Chase cards, they want a 690, right? For a student credit card. All right, some people may have gotten lucky and got it with a lower credit score, but I'm going to work this backwards so that you not only be able to get Chase, but you'll be able to get American Express, even though American Express doesn't have a student credit card. But at the same time, at least you know that your college student will have a strong credit score and they're definitely going to put them closer to 750, 800. All right. So the first thing you want to do with your student, now that you have that extra top, child tax credit I would tell you if they have a debit card already sign them up for the extra card okay now for some of you that seen my other videos you know what this is about with the extra card what it's going to do is all of your kids monthly debit transactions they're going to calculate it up and they'll report it to the credit bureaus Okay, so this is going to be their first trade line. All right. Now, here's another card that most people are not aware of, but I'm going to put you on game. All right. Now, this one's interesting. Say that you have a kid that's 13, 14 years old, but you still want to be able to put them in a position to build their credit. So this card is called Step. Okay. And it's a debit credit card. Right. So as they get closer to the age of 18, all of their debit transactions and stuff, they start compiling it and they start helping them build a credit file. Now, this is something that's definitely beneficial. So if you have the extra debit card with the step debit card, now they already have two positive trade lines. Now, for you parents, um, you may not have the best credit, okay? But you still would like for your college student to be able to stand on their own, right? So this is something, best thing that I would tell any parent, the best thing that you actually could do for your college student, okay? You can add them on as an authorized user, okay? And here's the thing about it, like some parents, they may have like low credit scores, but they may have one credit card that they've been making payments on, has a long credit history and stuff like that. They never miss payments and stuff. What you wanna do is add your kid onto that oldest credit card, okay? Now, here's the thing that's changing with some of these credit credit uh, cards reporting and stuff, they may not pick up the aging that you started the car. It may pick up just when you added the kid on, but that doesn't mean they won't get the trade line, okay? So just keep that in mind in terms of when you're trying to help your kids build up their credit, adding the AUs. But the thing about it, if you're a parent that has a uh, good credit, payment history and stuff like that, again, these are the first top the first three steps you want to start, all right? Now, this is very important and a lot of people are not realizing even whether you are a college student or an adult, here's something that really affects your credit score. Okay? This is what you should do. Um, you need to get get your a pledge loan. Okay, and I have a video, I have a video, I put a link to it so you can understand what it is and stuff because not only does Navy Federal offer them, but there's other financial institutions that offer them as well. But in terms of that, that way you have revolving credit, then you have a loan on the credit. And this balances out the credit file, okay? Because I have people that had the extra money, so what they decide to do instead of paying down the credit cards, they paid the loan off first. And so 
when they did that, their credit score dropped 20, 30, 40 points because you have to have a loan on there. All right, so that's very important. And the reason that you want to be able to help your kid establish a credit file so when they are in college or off or on their way to college and stuff, that way it helps you in terms of like your um in terms of what they may be trying to do. Because some kids may not be ready for college or whatever, uh, but they decide they want a car loan, or you may, they may decide, hey, I'm in college now, and I may need an extra student loan or something like that. Well, you don't want to be on the hook for that, all right? Or your kid may be 18, 19 years old and say, hey, I don't want to stay on campus anymore. I want my own apartment. So instead of you co-signing for that apartment for them, they'll have enough established credit to where they can do it on their own. But they must have uh, established credit file. So that's the one of the best things that a parent or you yourself can do to help your kid establish your credit and let your kids inherit the credit. All right. So that's the uh, that's the fourth step. All right. Now the fifth step. You're going to start applying for some credit cards, but you're not going to be applying for some hard credit cards. So this is one that oh, another trade line that you can do with your uh, college student as well. You can also add them on to credit AI. All right. Now, the reason you want to do this again, you're trying to establish their credit and stuff before they really start applying for credit cards with the major credit bureaus and stuff like that. The reason is if they have a, a already a backdoor, easy established credit file and stuff like that, it'll make it much easier for them not only to get credit cards with the major financial institutions, but they'll be able to start getting higher credit limits. Now, I'm going to tell you. It's sad, but I know certain people, they notice that kids have strong credit and stuff, and they have been trying to get their kids to get them a co-sign for them a car, a co-sign for them an apartment and stuff like that, because their credit is jacked up. Um, I, would, I would definitely tell you, please, give your kids a chance to build their credit, okay? Because it's, it's sad as, as, an, as a parent that, you know, it already hurts you that you're struggling and then you see your kid comes along and they have a stronger credit, all of a sudden you want them to sign for an apartment or you want them to sign for your phone or something like that. Don't do that to your kids. Just give them a chance to start building up their credit, all right? So now, Here's some credit cards you want to start applying for before you even reach out to the major credit bureaus. You can reach out to the major credit bureaus at this here point, but at the same time, you want to have a very established credit file for your college student or even for yourself starting out. And remember, because you're an adult, if you're taking college classes and stuff, you can get these college credit cards too. As a matter of fact, if you're an adult, some of the things that people do is they would go to college, they would get their uh, financial aid and stuff, and they would pay down their college debt. Or they would take out a student loan and they would start, use that to start their business. So that's the thing about it. It's multiple things you can do in terms terms of leveraging not only just credit cards but loans as well to help you build your credit. Now let's talk about some of these other lenders that you want to apply to first. Especially if you don't have any credit and you're still establishing credit. You have the Patel, they have the one in or two card. So these are cards that usually they know you're trying to establish a credit file and stuff like that, and they're only pulling from one credit bureau or whatever, all right? And the credit score threshold is very low. But if you do these things that I'm telling you to do first, you again, you're going to already be in that 700 plus mark as well on your way to the 800 credit score as a college student, okay? So if you play these steps here, I promise you, you'll always be in the 7 to 800 credit range, all right? Now, now here's another one. You have the Patel, then you have the Deserve card. All right, and if you guys use some of these cards and stuff, let me know. 
what do you like about them? Have, have you seen the bigger benefit of them and stuff like that? Has it really helped you? Now, parents, I would definitely tell you for your college student and stuff, if they have streaming like uh, Spotify, Hulu, Netflix and stuff, and they have bank accounts already established, then you definitely want to do um, Experian Boost. Okay, you want to do Experian Boost right so that'll give them a few points uh transunion has a ultra boost uh i think it's called ultra boost as well all right so here's some of the things that you can start doing again you want to do this before you start going out to the chase the bank of americas and stuff like that granted for some of those car college student cards and stuff they have low thresholds but if you do it this way you're looking at getting uh, larger lines of credit as well because you have established credit file for your kid. And again, this here, doing this here, it's only going to take you maybe just a, um, a few months to get, make sure that they have a 750, 800 credit score. So even if you were starting over after bankruptcy, you still can do the same thing and to be able to get a 750, 800 uh, credit score, all right? Now, you have all of these set up, right? So now you establish file within two to three months. Your file is already established. Now then, you want to go for the low hanging fruit with the major financial institutions, all right? So the low hanging fruit for student credit cards, okay? You still don't want to go after Chase yet. Don't touch Chase yet. Again, because you want to get the maximum, right? So this also may help you bypass the Chase student credit card and get you a regular credit card through Chase because you're establishing the file, all right? But you want to go after the low hanging fruit. So the first card you may want to consider is the Bank of America student card, okay? Because they want you to have at least a 580 credit score. Now, it's not a security card. They have a, um, it's the Bank of America rewards card, and they want you to have at least a 580. Now, also, guys, if you're members of Bank of America, okay, and you've been with them for at least a year, and you had your bank account active and stuff, and you haven't been overdrawn and stuff, remember, they do offer small loans as well, which actually turns into a trade line. OK, so that's something that you also have to consider. All right. Now, at the Bank of America, you have Discover cards. OK, Discover it cards. All right. And they're about a 630. All right. So there's two of them. There's the uh, Discover Platinum and then there's another one. But they start about a 630 credit score. Again, we want to go after the low hanging fruit. All right. So that way now you have these type of revolving credit cards on your file and stuff like that, along with this established file. Now you're looking very good to financial institutions. They want to do business with you. Now, here's one. Most people, they may go after Cap Capital One. Now, my thing about Capital One, the reason I would not go after Capital One, even though they have a low credit score, uh, student card. The reason I wouldn't go out to Capital because they put three inquiries on your credit report. So I would rather go to one that's only going to put one inquiry on it. You don't want a card that's going to put three inquiries unless you really just want to or you just didn't know. Okay, if you already got the card, just continue making your payments. But if you can avoid it, I would not go out to Capital One. All right, doing this here, you already have an established file. Now, this is when you go after the Chase student card. Okay, the Chase Freedom student card. Because now you have established file. That's the thing about it. This is how you play the game. Now you have established file. Now, again, because you have a credit score between Seven, your credit score is definitely going to be about, I would say, between 740 to almost 800. Just following this. And also, one thing you have to remember, guys, is making sure that on your credit cards, you're paying weekly. Okay, weekly. And keep your uh, credit card balances down to 8 to 9%. Okay.
That'll keep you with a high credit score. And you can even do this if you're not a college student. You can follow the same formula to continue to rebuild your credit. Now, if you're already paying rent and stuff, there's rent, renters platforms and stuff that you can also reach out to that would report your rent and everything like that. That'll help give you a trade line also. So if you're 18, you just moved out on your own and you're still trying to figure out how to build up your credit while you're going to college and stuff like that, Having uh, the platforms that actually pay, report rent to help you build your credit, that's definitely a one way to go as well. All right. So I hope that this helped you guys. If this is something that you know that's beneficial for you or even your college student kid, I think if you wouldn't mind sharing it, comment, let me know. Have you used some of these cards, to, uh, some of these strategies, as well as these cards to help build up your personal credit or help build up your child's personal credit? Because that's the best thing you can give them. Instead of giving them money, if you letting them inherit your credit or helping them establish their credit, that's the best thing for you, all right? So this is Houston with Three Way Funding. Again, for those of you that's just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. And for those of you that's been following me as well as supporting me as always. Salute.